try to video a little bit of Liberty with Miss Liberty. Um, I worked on it a couple days ago and went first time like total Liberty. At least we had a halter on, but like no lead rope between us or anything in here. And she did really good. She can smell treats in my jacket. But um, I was gonna try to video this earlier like yesterday or the day before, but um, I got sick. So, we're gonna try to do some today. Um, might not be as intricate as we did the first time, just cause I don't really want to backpedal or anything right now. But, um, just some slow stuff with her. Something that's really helped is, I have a bunch of, it's called cake, it's a livestock seed. And they work perfect as horse treats because they're kind of like hay saver. They don't have like a lot of sugar in them like typical treat. It's more like a chunk of grain. It's just huge. Okay. And so, and she can also see it a lot better. So she knows I have them. But it makes it a lot easier because I can get her to join up with me and let her know that she did good. Ooh, I have not died again. I would like to say a quick thank you to FM Light and Sons for sponsoring my Mustang train journey. Founded in 1905 and still family owned and operated, FM Light and Sons has been outfit in the West for 117 years and for five generations. No matter where you are from or what walk of life you're in, they have something for you, bringing the Western way of life alive. FM Light and Sons Historical Western Store is located on 830 Lincoln Avenue in downtown Steamboat Springs, Colorado. They have a bay horse named Lightning standing outside the door, greeting everyone as they walk in, making the store hard to miss. Go check them out and say hi to Lightning for us while you're there. If you would like to learn more about FM Light and Sons, go to fmlight.com. If you're ever in Steamboat Springs, you do not want to miss out on this incredible historical store.
as you can see we're still nowhere close to greatness um she's still pushy i'm really slow right now but um yeah she doesn't really like going over the culvert at liberty quite yet she goes around it um it worked out like going around cones now she thinks of that as a cone or she'll try to roll it um, with her nose and sometimes we'll hop over it sometimes we'll just like put her front legs over and then like shuffle her back end over and sometimes she'll like actually jump all depends on her mood and her she's just not mare so she has mood swings um she hey but she's kind of pushy she's hot i haven't worked with her for two days but yeah and basically i just taught her to do all this stuff like online so i taught her to come over towards me by putting my stick over top of her neck and then pulling my lead rope where she'd cross over the front and then i'd relax when um, she did that and then on lead rope i taught was teaching her how to click where i'd be having her trot in a circle and i'd touch her back and then I'd kind of wiggle my rope so that she kind of has to collect up and kind of shuffle. Um, but, and then also like giving her stick cues with the lead rope on just to help reinforce and then we went to this and then without the line we started adding treats in which I make her like do more stuff than the typical person would to get a treat, but she's also a can be treat sour. So I don't want her um, eating too many treats and then getting used to being a treat hog all the time like this. But yeah. Basically, when I yell taxi, she comes and sides up to the mountain block. I wanted her to do this at Liberty just because she has a lot more choice in it. And so she learns, oh, I really like this because I have a choice. Like, not that I don't give her choice, this just gives more choices. She's like, are you giving me a treat on that side? She's like, whoa, there. This is about where I want her for that taxi trick. We'll 
start working on that. I just asked her to step up right now. I'm not like giving her the taxi cue yet. And we've been so we got her back and everything. Had a chiropractor come out and got her all straightened up because she was messed up here and she had a little bit of mess up in her withers and I think it was just she was playing in the pasture and fell or something because that's the only thing that would make sense so we're I haven't put a saddle on her since that just because I didn't want to mess that up at all if she were to buck or anything I've just been doing this stuff to get her more comfortable with a rider and a saddle and everything and like get her like 110% comfortable before I ever throw a saddle on. I am terrible. She's shedding really bad and it's everywhere in spring and I got hair in my face. But yeah, horse life. But show her a treat, like purposely show her a treat, I have, I basically have a contract with her. If I show her the treat, I give it to her when she does whatever I want her to do. So, like if I were to send her in a circle. And where you got distraction? Hey, the kids. Hey. Let's see this. So. Right, if I were to send her into the circle, okay. Okay. Once she completes that maneuver, I have to stop her and give it to her if I like put it in front of her face. So that way every time she knows she's getting a treat, I'm not like tricking her or anything. spans, warm blood, breed, whatever sport horse. Um, Liberty is half half Appaloosa. We don't know what the other half of her is. Um, we rescued her mom out of the kill pen. Her mom was like 10 months pregnant with her. So we really don't know what dad is. Has to be something tall and hot like a thoroughbred or something. Likely a thoroughbred. But she acts like it too, so with the app sass. So it's interesting. So we'll have stuff like that where I try to keep me in the head and then she'll run around and then she'll come back. Like even online sometimes she does that ADHD and I just send her out say no that's not right. No, you can't do that, you're gonna hurt me. And then I'll draw her in like we did there and she had nice stop at the end of my stick so 
told her she was good by giving her a treat. There's a little bit of a struggle with treat sour horses and horses that love attention. Um, is the treats really draw her in, which makes it this process really fast and quick and easy and all that stuff. Um, if I want to use treats, she'd be like, ooh, there's a butterfly, ooh, grasshopper, there's a clump of dirt that turned over. That's her mindset. And the treats are, make her a little bit more, at least on the treats, and less on everything else going on. But she's a good girl, she just has some energy issues. Liberty's a four-year-old, and we raised her. So I started her as a as a three-year-old. Gave her a long time off just to grow up, and then she came back with bucking issues like she never bucked before. She had stuff all over her since she was. Tiny, um, of course, like nothing heavy or anything, but like a bareback pad and tarps and everything on her back. And then I started her as a three year old and put about 15 or 20 rides on her. And then gave her a break while I had Chester and a client horse. And then come back this early spring. I guess it is early spring, so late winter, I guess and she bucks like stupid and everything. And so we've done a lot of troubleshooting with that. Decided just to um, take it a little bit slower with her. She's the only warm blood type horse that I've trained. So she's kind of thrown me for a curveball with that. And then she has some chiropractic issues that they're very subtle so she'll run and buck and everything in like without the saddle on and as soon as you put the saddle on it's a little bit uncomfortable and she's like nope I'm not doing that today so been working on getting her a little bit feeling a little bit better and um, just working on groundwork and teaching her tricks I'm currently attempting to teach her how to lay down which is really hard because she has ADHD, like, but basically I'm doing it like Sam Van Fleet and tapping the belly until they put their head down a little bit and then releasing. And then eventually that'll turn into, oh, thinking down and then thinking about laying down and then actually laying down. Um, but she's a really fun horse. She's difficult um, to say the least but she's really fun she's a good horse to learn from hey because she is extroverted she's actually like the only extroverted horse I've trained to I, I like the introverted horses um, like Coda Chester's kind of an extrovert I think he's more of a introvert with super high play drive um, but yeah, she is people, people, people. I love you. I am a people's um, type of horse. So she loves crowds. Definitely she'd be a good, if she didn't, if she didn't like have as much reactions when she spooks cause she does do stupid baby spooky and stuff. But if she didn't do that, she'd be a good parade horse or crowd horse just because she loves people. But yeah, she, she might be a little cowy too. Or she's never experienced cows of any sort, but she's super interested in everything that moves. So she has the potential. Or she might just spook it over and be like, I'm done. But. 
who knows until I get her to where I can put her on cows. Uh, you're, get, get off me. I, so I also, with her, she's not very, her dynamic type horse. Um, but I send her out like a horse wood, like the lead horse wood, um, to when she needs to just get out of my space. And then I'll invite her back in. And she'll come back in. But yeah. I don't know. It's kind of been kind of like a ramble, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm not doing a whole lot with her besides just the Liberty stuff. Uh, Liberty with Liberty, I guess. So that's. My update with her. Um, I think this is horsemanship day 20, 20 or 21. I'd have to check on my records. But um, Chester and Chester, I'm not doing a whole lot with. I'm kind of just doing groundwork, kind of doing a little bit of liberty stuff. He still has a lot of distraction brain. Um, bolt stuff but and then also just like playing with him on the ground ground driving him stuff like that hey stop chewing on that and then coda i've been just working on getting her in shape because she got really 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 fluffy and because if you guys don't know um i tore my hip last year i came off liberty being stupid but um yeah i rode liberty bareback and Liberty went forward and I didn't and I tore my labrum in my hip so I was off for um all of late summer and early fall last year um because we thought it was my knee and it took a long time to diagnose it but um yeah it was a mess but I was off for a while and Co I didn't ride at all so Coda didn't get worked and Coda got really fat and so we're trying to get some of that floof off before summer and then also conditioning to her for um, rodeo and everything and been running some barrel drills off her getting her lead changes better getting her gait transitions better all that stuff and then also trying to figure out how to ride English on her and running barrel drills in the English saddle just because why not and yeah that's what I've kind of been doing <laughs>